Hey guys, hope you're doing good today. Uh, I watched the January 6th committee's first primetime hearing last night. Uh, I'll give you some general thoughts on that and where I think it's going to lead to in the future politically. Um, so last night well, was one of seven. I believe there's going to be seven primetime hearings of, uh, of the January 6th committee uh, giving us testimony and, and, and you know, a timeline of events and witnesses, who knows what they have in store. But last night they, they basically just laid out the facts, backed it up with video and audio. Uh, they, 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 they flashed to where the J6 committee interviewed, you know, uh, Attorney General uh, William Barr, uh, Ivanka Trunk, Jared Kushner, and it looked, it kind of looked like a, like a almost criminal in a way, like where it was like people interviewing. It almost looked like good cop, bad cop sort of thing. Not as extreme, but it almost looked like where you're kind of watching Law and Order in a way. Like okay, because they were under questioning from the committee, and it's serious and it's legitimate. And you know, it, it was it was just I don't know. It seemed really serious, uh, and it was it was good for people to see that, to see Ivanka, to see Bob Barr, to see Jared come clean about what happened that day. Uh, and Ivanka's was probably the most eye-opening where she basically said that she agreed with a Attorney General Barr and that there was no widespread voter fraud anywhere. She said, I agree with Bill Barr. And Trump was attacking his daughter today on his social media site because nothing sacred with this guy, nothing. So she, <laughs> and the look on her face was priceless. Oh my God, if you could find a still frame of that, it's worth finding it. Like she just looked like, oh shit, I'm going to pay for this. And she is going to pay for it because once again, no, no one is sacred in the world of Donald Trump. You're either with him or you're against him. It doesn't matter what the truth is. It doesn't matter what the facts are. And, and, and this presentation last night was all about the facts and, and getting the facts from the people closest to Donald Trump. So that was impactful. Uh, that was very eye-opening even for me, which I wasn't gonna be surprised by anything going into this. And I was actually like, oh, okay. I haven't seen this before. I haven't heard this before. And uh, this this should have some impact on people who are approaching this from a non-biased point of view, where they're just like, okay, what are the facts? Okay, what's the timeline? Okay, what happened? Who said what? If you're if you're someone just looking for that, which we all should be, uh, you know, it was eye-opening and it will be beneficial. And I can see the more people see this, the better it will be. Um, because it really didn't seem political uh, in, in that in that toxic realm where they're going after people. It was more of a, of a presentation of events. So that's what you can figure out on your own. If you just, if people are given the timeline, they can figure it out for themselves. But I'm also kind of thinking, where, where this is going to go potentially in the future. And if it's successful, if these seven hearings are successful in, uh, you know, convincing conservatives primarily uh, that, you know, oh, we, we got to detach from Trump. We got to detach from the Republican Party. We have to get away from these people. There's going to be a potential merge of conservative voters entering the Democratic Party, making the Democratic Party even more conservative than it is now, with the likes of Joe Manchin, the likes of Christian Cinema, the Blue Dog Democrats, and even Joe Biden, who, on a good day, he's a centrist. He, he he's he's a center right guy in my view. Who on a good day he'll be a centrist, <laughs> but. So I'm, I'm starting to get worried in a little, in a little, it's a little, it's early, it's early, but I'm starting to get worried if this is really impactful, the Democratic Party is set to, to get 
millions of potential new voters from the Republican Party uh, because they're going to find out the facts and, and relive that day uh, and be convinced by the presentation of the J6 committee. And it's going to be a huge wave of conservatism infiltrating the Democratic Party uh, voting bloc. So that has me very concerned as a progressive who wants the Democrats to be more progressive and less conservative. You know, that's worrisome. Like, I'm genuinely worried. Can't get this done. What's going on here? I'm genuinely worried about that. So I want to hear your thoughts about that. Are you worried about that? If these are successful hearings, the public, uh, you know, processes it and they say, we got to get away from the GOP. Are they going to go independent? Are they going to go Democrat? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.